the rest of your life, the best of your life. That's what God wants for each and every one of us. We're talking about various keys for that to be possible. Don't let the devil tell you that it can't be because God has plans, good plans for you. Today, the key I want to speak to you about is the key of obedience. Obedience. That's a tough one sometimes because there are times when God requires of us things that we don't want to do. Things that are not convenient, things that aren't easy, things that aren't fun. But if we're going to mature in God, and if we're going to find his purpose for our lives and live it out, then we've got to learn to obey God. In the 14th and the 15th chapters of the book of St. John, we're not going to take the time to look at each verse, but you can read those chapters for yourself and you'll see something that's very, very important about obedience and love. Jesus taught us in not just one verse, but in several verses in that, those passages, he taught us very clearly that our love for God is measured by our obedience to him. If you love me, Jesus said, keep my commandments. So people can talk about how much they love God. They can sing about it and they can make a fair emotional show about it. And it might look real genuine. But if you don't or I don't obey God, then we really don't love God. That's just the bottom line. In all of the Bible, and I've read it all, and probably some of you have too, that's the only real yardstick you'll find for measuring your love and my love for God is my obedience to Him. And so it's very important if we want the rest of our life to be the best of our life to do whatever God has told us to do. And that brings me to this key today. What is the last thing God told you to do? I'm not talking about 25 years ago, uh, what you, you know, were struggling with at that time or what was going on in your life. Maybe, maybe it does have some bearing now in that maybe you've not done that yet. But I'm saying today, right now, when you wait before God, you get quiet before him and you're still in his presence, what's the thing that keeps coming up in your heart God's asking you or requiring you to do? If you want the future to be better than the past, then do that thing. And if you just have to focus on the one thing right now, then focus on it and begin to do it or get it done, whatever the case may be. And you'll find that the love of God will begin to manifest in ways that you're just going to be so glad you obeyed him.